In a world where nuclear war has begun, vampires fought back in super real 3D. Hey guys, so I get asked this question all the time, and I know a lot of you probably already know the answer to it, but for those of you that don't, your TV that you paid all that money for looks off to you because it's of the refresh rate. Your refresh rate is too high. There's this really big consumer push that refresh rate, the higher the refresh rate, the better. That is good for video games. That is good for live sports. But those refresh rates of 120 and 240 hertz, that is adding pretend frames per second into the picture. And that's, like I said, that's good for video games, good for sports, for great smooth motion. But when it comes to watching a movie, the reason that it no longer feels like a movie to you and it looks like a soap opera, it's because your refresh rate's too high and you wanna get it back down to 60 hertz. In general, what you would do is you would look through your menu system and all the different brands use different names for this, but the word that seems to be pretty consistent in all of this is motion. If there's some kind of motion, uh, smooth motion, crystal motion, if that feature is turned on, you want to turn it off. So oftentimes, whenever I'm gonna go show a, a client a finished video, it is for maybe a company with, uh, in their meeting room and they have a TV up, I get there a half hour early just to try and navigate the TV to see if I can turn the mo that mode off. Because that's what, <laughs> it's that important to me that the client doesn't see it in that fashion because it really takes away um, that film look that I strive really hard to create whenever I'm editing. By default, home video cameras that you bought over the years were set to 30 frames per second. And 30 frames per second is more than film. Film is 24 frames per second. Less is actually more when it comes to adding that magic. So when you're watching something that feels like it has 60 frames per second because of this high refresh rate, that's ludicrous. The only reason that I would film in 60 frames per second, which I do do, is just for the purpose of making slow motion in post-production. When I'm editing, I can take the 60 frames per second and make slow motion out of it. I can even film in 240 frames per second, but not to play at regular, at actual 240 frames per second. Like, I'm playing it for slow motion. The biggest thing that was a tell sign for me of how bad it actually was, how much it was really just driving me crazy, uh, was I was watching behind the scenes of a movie and in the behind the scenes they would be cutting back and forth between the actual behind the scenes and then to the actual movie like from the finished product, you know, you, like you'd see in a trailer. And there was no difference whatsoever. It looked identical. And I was like, this, this is terrible. There's no, no final film look to it at all. So you really want to turn that mode off. All the directors and directors of photography is cringe whenever they see these new TVs coming out that are playing their movies like that. It goes against the grain of everything we're trying to do in creating a cinematic picture, a cinematic experience. There are two directors that are big directors that are actually filming in high frame rates and playing their movies that way. And that's Peter Jackson. He did it with the Hobbit movies. Those were filmed in 48 frames per second instead of 24. There was such a big uproar that they had to show in theaters the high frame rate version and the regular version, like what you would expect to see, the 24 frame per second version. And then there's uh, James Cameron, Avatar 2 is being filmed in 60 frames per second, and that's what he's planning to release it in. And uh, the, the idea behind that is that they feel like it is in combination with 3D, in combination with 3D, that that is actually creating a new, like media experience. Like it's not just the classic film. They're trying to create a new experience. So I'm, I'll give it a try. I did not try it on The Hobbit. I'll give it a try on Avatar 2 and see what I think. Just because it's 3D, but if you're putting a 2D TV up in your, in your house, you know, get that off there unless you're watching some live sports or you're playing video games on it. So best of luck to try and turn that off. And that is why your TV that you spent all that money on has been lame. Totally lame by many people's standards. And if you can't tell the difference, I'm sorry, but there's a huge, a huge difference. Get it together, man. Get it together. Movie Voice.